Can I get one extra therapist to help me open that to you? Uh, I just got a recent ABG on. I'm going to run it now. Okay, what kind of history do you have, sir? Nothing. I've just been coughing for the last three weeks. Just been coughing? Okay, and they gave you some medication at the dental office? No, at the urgent care. At the urgent care. Okay. All right, go ahead and sit tight. We're going to run a couple tests on you. Is it a sharp pain? And then we'll uh, see. I feel like more short of breath when I lay down. Can I sit down? Yeah, yeah. I'm setting you up a little, okay? Guys, I need a chest x-ray ordered stat as well, please. Stat. Stat chest x-ray. Thank you, that's a little bit better. I think we need a... You guys have a full tank there? We could use another tank inside of our ICU, Phil. Yeah, because that one's a okay. piece. Are there rollers there? He's no? complaining of chest pains. Can we give him some aspirin? Sure, let's go ahead and give him some aspirin. I'll also order some more heat. Okay, thank you. Can I get you over there? Can you do mouthpiece? Is that okay? Okay. So, okay. Chest x ray is good. Alright, so our patient over here, this 44 male, is getting a chest x ray and ABG is pending. We got a chest x ray, ABG, chest x ray done. How's it looking? It looks, he's got like scattered infiltrates and he's a little bit hyperinflated. Um, we're just waiting on a doctor's orders for medication. Do huh? you know how to switch the full tank? Yeah. With this? Let's go ahead and send his uh, paperwork with him. Yes, you need to take him over there, let him know that he assessed him in ICU. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Is he on any pressures? No, he's on the ventilator, and I just uh, got a report from the other doctor, and I walked in, and my RTs were, they seemed a little bit frantic. The vent was alarming. Any ideas what could have happened? Vent was disconnected. Okay, vent was disconnected. So it looks like we're going to need to make sure our patient's ventilated and oxygenated. Can we pass the suction catheter at all? I don't know how to You got a clear line? No? Okay. All right, guys, let's do another pulse check. Another pulse check. Where are we feeling for pulse? For audit. All right, looks like we have a pulse back at about 44. I was able to pass the suction. Okay. Okay, so how come we have no ventilation? The lines are in still. Needs to have needle decompression or needle decompression because he has one thing of the costophrenic angle. Was it a needle? He has a flail chest, so he's got. It's a pneumo. It's a flail chest. So he needs to needle decompression and then he needs to have a chest to put it. There you go. Looks like there was a leak on the inspiratory limb. Okay. Okay, make sure you guys always trace your circuit back. There was a leak right there. Can I the patient? Okay, go ahead and reconnect. We have ventilation. Okay. All right, look like SADS and heart rate are coming up. We still have the atropine hung. He's getting good volumes. Good. He's good. That's good. Our doctor here recommended a needle decompression in a chest tube because he 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 had a pneumothorax. That's what it showed in X-ray. He's stable now. He's about. 93%. Doing better, sir. Good. Okay. And a little bit of pain. All right, we'll get you on some payments. Thank you. All right, we can go ahead and transport him over to the bed, sir. Let's take our monitor and keep that. Okay. You ready for transport? One person's taking ICU. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm sorry, you okay? Jasmine, you want to take him so I keep my ICU? Yeah, I got him, I got him.